everyone, in today's HUD, we're going to talk about wild blueberries. Now, don't confuse wild blueberries with their counterpart, which is conventionally grown blueberries. It's just like comparing wild salmon with farm-raised salmon or grass-fed beef with conventional grown beef, okay? They are two completely different creatures, and honestly, I just discovered them a few months ago. They are absolutely delicious. I put them in my yogurt or in a smoothie, and I can only find them frozen because they're grown in Maine and they're seasonal. However, you can definitely find them frozen, so check your local market. This dish was fuller, but I ate them. <laughs> anyway, I love wild blueberries, and you will love them too, especially when you find out what Anthony William has to say. And honestly, this chapter is worth the purchase of the book alone. Okay? So get the book. Support this guy. He's out there, but it's good stuff. He says that there is not a disease known to humankind that wild blueberries cannot protect you from. They are the number one adaptogen food on the planet. They are extremely high in antioxidants, polyphenols, anthocyanins, anthocyanidins, and cofactor adaptogenic amino acids. They are great with heavy metal detoxing, restoring the liver, giving you a physical boost, and helping athletes. They have the full power of the divine. And for emotional support, when you need inspiration because you feel criticized or mistreated, eat some wild blueberries. And they taste really, really good too. I love the fact that they pull heavy metals out of your body because those create so many brain issues. And Lord knows we need our brain. So try some wild blueberries and you'll be thanking me for it. I'm telling you. Okay, let's close our Thursday with a big, fat, juicy hug. Ah, sending you so much love during this holiday week. Have a beautiful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.